It is a world of darkness. The sin of Cain has spawned the cursed horror that stalks the night in search of living blood. The kindred have long been a secret influence through all ages of human history, plotting against each other in a never-ending jihad. Their immortal progeny are among us to this day, hidden from the eyes of humanity by an elaborate masquerade. Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And this time I'll be playing Vampire the Masquerade Redemption Blind. Now, I am a very big fan of the World of Darkness as a setting, and I am also a very big fan of the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines video game, which is probably my favorite video game of all times. Like, I, I am intimately familiar and aware of its many flaws, but the atmosphere of it and the like level of immersion I always find whenever I return to it is so great and cool that it remains my favorite video game despite all of its many flaws. Uh, but I know nothing about this game in particular, apart maybe, maybe from the fact that I've read I am not supposed to ex uh, expect an experience similar to Bloodlines. It is apparently a bit more of a like a team-based hack and slash game, kind of. Like uh, there's supposedly a lot of dungeon crawling and the like, which I'm not entirely enti entirely enthusiastic about. But uh, supposedly there is also a party, so I'm looking forward to some interesting character dynamics and you know different characters and them interacting with each other or, or just with with uh, with the protagonist I guess you know just learning more about the characters and how they differ from each other it might be kind of cool uh, I know literally nothing about this game's story or its gameplay uh, it is a completely blind let's play so I expect I'm going to probably suck a lot, which is <laughs> which is thematic, uh, thematically appropriate, I guess, because you know this is a game about vampires, so sucking is to be expected, if you know what I mean. Uh, now, just one thing before I begin, uh, the the intro, I found it the the face that the vampire made at the end of the intro, I found it to be incredibly hilarious, and I'm not sure how. Uh, it, how how intended that was? Mm, no, how, how much on purpose uh, that was? But uh, it was pretty weird. Like <laughs> it, it looked like something. Uh, it looked like this kind of like this uh, moment from this Nicolas Cage movie, in which he's a vampire, or at least he thinks he's a vampire. It, it's a very like meme. Uh, it's a very meme-worthy moment, and in fact I'm just familiar with this GIF because of, of its prevalence on the internet. Uh, so it was pretty silly looking, and I'm not sure what to think about it. But apart from that, I guess that's enough talk. Oh, just one more thing. I will po post the links in the description about uh, to, to all of the playlists I did regarding the World of Darkness. For example, I have two playlists where I played Bloodlines with different mods, and I also have a playlist for secrets and easter eggs in Bloodlines, so if you're a fan of the World of Darkness, you might enjoy those. Uh, and I will also put timestamps in uh, the videos in this Let's Play, so if uh, at any point you feel like I'm dying too much, or a particular section is boring to you, you can always look for the timestamps to skip to the next part. So with that being said, uh, let me actually start the new game. My name is Christoph Rumble. I am a man of God and a soldier in heaven's cause. <gasps> Oh, my God. 
suffered a grievous wound and must rest. I must return to my... Oh. Lord, peace, I beg thee. Thy brave captain left a letter before thy sword brethren continued on their crusade. I thank thee for this news, my lady, and for thy care. Surely thou hast drawn me back from the jaws of death itself. T'was the Lord that saw fit to spare thy life. We humble sisters simply attended thee. Oh, Sister Ineska is too modest. She ministered to thy shattered body day and night, long after all others had given up hope. She did indeed restore thy life. I am Archbishop Giza. Thou hast done great service for Christendom, young sir. Tonight I shall make prayers of thanksgiving that thou live, and may send more sinners to hell. I offer thee all my gratitude for thy service. I am in thy debt. The rosy life in thy cheek is payment enough. Okay, so I will talk about the intro uh, once I save the sisters, because you know, it doesn't seem entirely nice to be rambling while they are under attack by unholy monsters of Satan. Uh, Christoph, my wound! Nay, it is nothing. A scratch. The mighty walls of Prague once held all demons at bay, but the Schlachter have overtaken a silver mine to the east, with a haven so close to the city they boldly walk the streets by night to kill, and worse than kill. Many have been dragged alive from their homes for some unspeakable purpose. I will never let them take thee. Oh, sir. <laughs> Perhaps in a month I shall go to the mines. Uh, as, um, you know, as callous, as, as kind of cowardly as it sound, as it might sound in a game, it's actually perhaps uh, a very prudent thing to say, because depending on the uh, severity of the wound, you know, with, with medieval level medical care, it would probably take months for it to heal. But I'm not going to say it, because obviously I am a brave soldier of God. I'm going to get up from my bed and, uh, you know, kill all the servants of Satan as soon as I can. Tomorrow I shall venture into the silver mine and flush the vermin from their holes. Thou must not. Thy wound is too great. Nay, I am resolved. They will pay in blood for the fright they have given thee. Oh, sir, should they harm thee, my heart... Come away, Ineska. Thou hast wasted enough of good Sir Christoph's time with thy idle chatter. Christoph, the Lord smiles upon thy wrath. I shall pray for thy victory. I shall not fail. Okay, so I already have a bunch of things to say because, first of all, I was not entirely aware this game takes place in medieval times because the, the wallpaper I found 
for um, for the thumbnail, it clearly depicts a, a man holding a gun. So I was expecting a contemporary setting, or at least you know mm, something closer to modern times. But I guess it might be a bit of a spoiler, maybe because maybe you know this is a game about vampires, so. Mm, you know, vampires would be able to live through the ages from the medieval times uh, up until the modern days. Uh, so maybe it is this kind of a story, you know, that literally takes ages uh, as you, for example, uh, battle your chosen enemy throughout the ages, sort of. Uh, mm, I guess we'll have to learn more about that. Uh, but also, it seems uh, this takes place in Bohemia, uh, we're currently in Prague, and I wonder uh, who were the enemies that we, were fi that we were fighting in the intro. It kind of looked like they might have been Mongols or something, uh, but, but I guess uh, I have a letter that my commander uh, left for me, so maybe it will yeah, Sir Cuthbert's letter to Christoph. Maybe it will uh, elaborate a little bit on the battle. Uh, and also, uh, the last thing. Uh, it was weird how in the intro, and I'm not sure again how intended that that was, because it might be a side effect of this being an older game, but when Archbishop Giza uh, spoke to me in the intro, his face was like hidden in the shadows, you didn't really even see his face, it was very dark, uh, and it was in very stark contrast to Aneska and Christoph himself, because they were pretty well lit, mm, and you could see their faces clearly, uh, whereas Archbishop Giza's face, as I said, was, was uh, you know, surrounded by shadows and kind of black. So I wonder if this is maybe foreshadowing for him, you know, being shady, like literally, in in some way. Uh, so, so I will have to look uh, around for clues regarding that. Uh, let's read the letter that my commander left me. My good kinsman Christoph, thy bravery carried the day in the battle of the Moravian Hills. Thy sword brethren crushed the pagan barbarians and now chased their scattered hordes into eastern Hungary. Once the last of the heathens are routed, our garrison shall return to Prague, and thou mayst rejoin our ranks. Until then, the tender ministrations of the Holy Sisters shall revive thee, if it be God's will that thou outlive thy wound. Thy fellow sword brethren pray for thy swift recovery, for they cannot allow thee to ripe and rot in decadent luxury whilst they sacrifice themselves. Perhaps thou canst make thy sword arm useful to good Archbishop Giza until such time as we return to collect thee. May the tidings of the Lord be upon thee, Sir Cuthbert. Mm, okay, so apparently it was uh, a battle against pagan barbarians, which seems to maybe suggest my theory that uh, they were Mongols, because obviously the I'm pretty sure that at this point in time, it's it's uh, the 12th, 12th century, uh, there were no pagans, uh, per, like no pagans that would that would mount an actual armed resistance uh, in Bohemia and, and Moravia and the surrounding lands. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only pagans uh, that actually resided uh, still in in like Central Europe. Uh, would be in Lithuania, uh, and in fact, they were uh, literally targets of like crusades. Uh, it's something that is maybe not often remembered, uh, because when you think of crusades, you mostly think about the crusades to retake Jerusalem, uh, you know, the, the crusades against the Muslims, but uh, there were crusades, uh, in a way, uh, sent against uh, the Lithuanians as well because, uh, as I said, they were one of the last uh, pagan, uh, actual pagan states, you know, the, the Duchy of Lithuania uh, at the time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they, they might have been Mongols, but I might also be wrong. Like, I'm a bit of an idiot, I guess. Uh, so, uh, 
as I said, maybe we'll learn more as we go. Uh, let's continue. Mm, there is a chest. Oh, I will also check my quest log because the blinking is kind of annoying. Uh, reclaim the bone silver mines, leave Prague to the east gate and enter the mine, defeat the monsters that dwell within. Okay, I will do that eventually. Uh, I have 50 gold pieces and a sword. Okay, good to know. Let's uh, check the chest. Mm, okay, so it's a vault. Uh, and it says Christoph here, so I assume this is like a storage container. I can put additional items here that I cannot, I do not have enough uh, space in my inventory for. And apparently I can save my soul <laughs> uh, by praying, uh, which is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Does it also allow me to save outside of that? Uh, it would seem so. Okay, so that's great, because to be honest, I'm not a big fan of of the mechanic in which mm, you can only save at predetermined points. I find it pretty annoying. Uh, so, let me continue onwards. Mm, to be honest, I should probably seethe my sword while I'm in town. It's rather rude to go around uh, intimidating people with a brandished blade. Mm. Uh, let's talk to Aneska. Oh, sir, I pray for thy safety on so perilous a journey. Okay, she didn't have that much to say. Mm. I guess let's check if she has a different dialogue if I talk to her twice, because that's sometimes how it works in, in games. Oh, sir, I pray for thy safety on so perilous a journey. Well, I guess the answer in this one is no. Uh, okay, anything up there? Nope, just a barred door. Okay, so I guess let's leave the convent and go onto the streets. The cheerful daylight world belies the horrors that prowl by night. How can the good people of Prague go about their business with such evil abroad in the land. Okay, let's explore the city convent. That's where I was. St. St. Thomas's Cathedral. I guess let's check this as well. While I'm nearby. Ah, and this is Archbishop Giza himself. Anything else I can do here? Mm, not for the time being, uh, but let's talk to him. God save and protect thee, his soldier, his wrath and vengeance. Okay, so I got a blessing. Well, we'll see how, uh, uh, we'll see, mm, you know, for what it counts in the end. Uh, St. Thomas's Cathedral. Uh, I cannot open any of those doors. Mm, there's some barrels. It's not entirely Christian of me to be stealing random stuff off the streets, but I presume I'm going to need it in the game. Mm, Knight of St. John. Okay, let's talk to them. Hail and well met, Crusader. Hail and well met to thee. Knights of St. John. Tis good to hear the voice of a fellow Frenchman. We Knights of St. John are far from home, and I would we were back in France. Say not so. We should gladly go to the ends of the earth in service to our Lord. Good day to thee. Hmm. So apparently Christoph is, uh, is a Frenchman, which <laughs> I never would have guessed uh, by listening to him, but obviously it's a bit of an bit of an bit of an artistic license uh, okay this goes to Visegrad mountain uh, so that's that's where the castle is in Prague right uh, yeah I would assume so 
this is the castle, and I, I assume I'm s over here. Uh, Prague's old town, uh, St. Thomas's Cathedral, I checked that, the convent, and there is the east gate, which leads to the mines, but there is also this whole district, so I will try exploring a little bit more, because this is currently locked. Okay, I cannot talk with the random citizens, however I can uh, visit this inn, mm, the Inn of the Four Stags. Oh, that's some rather nice music in the inn here. It's very cheerful. Anything up here? Nope, I cannot enter. I can, however, talk with the innkeeper, so let's do that. Hail, good sir knight, and welcome! They do say you seek to cleanse the minds of evil. Oh, these demons have brought great suffering to the good people of Prague. Our craftsmen have no silver for their wares, and many proud families now beg for their bread. Please, Accept all that my humble inn can provide, and the blessings of the Lord be upon your quest. Okay. Oh, he, he gave me a healing elixir. Of course I'm going to take it. That's very nice of you, good sir. I will put it to godly use in the name of our Lord. Okay, nothing else here it seems. Okay, there's a blacksmith's shop uh, right here. Ah, a smithy. Now I may replace my war weary armor. Well, I somehow doubt that because I only have 50 gold pieces. Oh, this actually gives me additional defense. If only a little bit. I am going to wear it for now. Blacksmith, I am Kristoff of the Sword Brethren, and I seek to replace armor lost in battle. Ho there, young crusader! I be Jiri Borajo, and the very boards of me humble shop are honored to be trodden by a sword brethren. And who will ye be slaying in your new armor? I see no reason to not tell him. I seek to slay the demons in the silver mines to the east. You look a bit sickly, Sir Kristoff. If ye do seek to spill the blood of the fiends in the mine, ye'll be needing special protection. The protection of the Lord suffices. I need no more than that. Ha! Tell that to your armor and sword. Nay, tis gypsy charms I be speaking of. Hmm. Such magics are of the devil. Uh, well, I guess for the time period they would be, but I am kind of intrigued, so I'm going to check it out. Where shall I find such gypsy charms? You must promise me that the gypsy will come to no harm by my telling. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting, uh, kind of interesting dilemma, because if I swear it not to hurt her, uh, you know, uh, uh, I guess she, he meant, he means generally not to hurt her for being a gypsy and presumably a magician, uh, but if she turns out 
to be actually evil on top of that, then that would be kind of inconvenient. Mm, but sure, let's let's uh, swear, I guess, uh, because I want to see actually to to visit the shop, and mm, although presumably if it's within the city, maybe I can find it on my own, and then I wouldn't have to swear the oath. Uh, let's not do it for now. Maybe I can change my mind later. No, I cannot promise that. Harm is bound to come to those doing the devil's work. Then I cannot be telling you. God be with you. Okay, I can uh, change my mind. Farewell. Which is interesting. I can also buy some random crap. Uh, but I don't really want to. Uh, I only have a couple of coins for now. Good day to you. So let's go away and try looking for the gypsy on my own. Maybe I can find her without talking to him. And if not, then as I saw, there is always a possibility of me changing my mind. Okay, this goes to Judith Bridge. Uh, wait, but there is no bridge here, so... But this is clearly... This is the Vishagrad Castle, so... This must be the Vishagrad Mountain, right? I assume. Uh, so where would the bridge be? This is not a bridge. Hmm. Okay, I will check it in a moment, but... There was yet another path somewhere over here. Mm, Northern Quarter locked. Okay. Okay, oh, d d d didn't intend to do that. Hmm, so did I check everything? This uh, look loops back to the inn. Oh, I certainly wasn't here. Mm -mm, it's a rather imposing building. Mm, go to the Bon Mountains. So this leaves the city. Uh, this is the East Gate then. And this is the imposing building right next to it. So let's check what it is. Oh, it's a university. Interesting. Mm, can I read any books, maybe? Hmm, apparently not quite. Which is a bit of a disappointment. Mm, but presumably it will be used for something later on, right? They wouldn't design such a location and then not use it. Uh, let's look at the crests uh, at the walls if I can. Uh, okay. It kind of looks like the Lannister sigil from A Song of Ice and Fire. Really get a good look at that and because of the camera angle. The camera itself is kind of annoying. Like I, I I don't really know how to operate it, or even if I can. It doesn't seem to move. Okay, someone reading a book. Well, I guess let's go away. But before I leave for the mines. I would like to check that Judith Bridge. So it was this way. No, no, no this is the Northern Quarter. Uh, 
this is the Judith Bridge. Mm, and this is obviously Voltava, the river that goes through Prague. Golden Lane. Mm. Prague Castle Grounds locked. I cannot talk with those people. Uh, Petron Hill Monastery, okay. Let's check it. I cannot enter for the time being. Petron Hill Monastery locked. Hmm. Okay, anything on this cliff? Apparently not. Okay, so this location seems literally pointless for the time being. Because I cannot enter the monastery and nor can I talk with the monks. So... I guess that was literally for nothing. Uh, let's check the golden lane. Sharp of a gypsy witch. Dare I enter such a place? Okay, so uh, Unorna's shop. So for someone who uh, is despised for being a magician, sh sh she's uh, surprisingly open with her uh, practice. Like I wouldn't think uh, it would be tolerated in the op in the open like that. Uh, although I guess you know. This is World of Darkness. Uh, it, it is a little bit different uh, in the in the way in which there are literal vampires prowling the streets at night. So I guess you, you know you could see it two uh, two ways. Either it would lead to even more persecution against the practitioners of magic, which in this universe actually exists. Uh, because they would kind of conflate uh, their use of magic with being demonic in itself, uh, or maybe maybe it would lead to like a like a begrudging uh, tolerance, kind of like a like a begrudging acceptance, because uh, the the magical charms that she offers presumably actually work. So you know, if it did offer you protection against vampires. You would probably take it, maybe, sometimes. Let's uh, check it. Okay, some braziers, skulls, potions, mm, and a black cat, obviously. Obviously, each, uh, every witch worth, worth her salt must have a black cat. Uh, so let's talk to, to, to the gypsy, then. Hello, young one. What is it you desire? I desire only to bring the Lord's justice to the evil that has befallen this city. I would know of the devils that rule the night in Prague. They are vampires. The undead. The blood drinkers. The fiends to hide their miserable carcasses away in mines and crypts under the earth. For the very rays of the sun to scald the flesh from their bones. It is quite a sight and a stench the like of which you'll ne'er forget. Then perhaps I shall show them the glory of the breaking dawn before dealing them their final mercy. Weapons cannot kill the thieves. Lest their heads be cleft from their undying bodies, 
You will need more than a buckler of faith to aid you. Okay, so she sells potions and sticks, apparently. Eh, you know what? It's pretty cheap. I think I will buy those sticks. You know, I am going to hunt vampires, so I guess I will buy two. Uh, hopefully... Okay, damage five. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So I... I presume it can be used to immobilize them or something, because obviously in the World of Darkness lore... Go with God, young one. And be sure to be within the warmth of a hearth when the sun falls. For the falls you have seen are but a small part of the wickedness that walks the streets of Prague by night. I shall send all such wickedness back to hell. Because in the World of Darkness lore, uh, staking a vampire in the heart doesn't actually kill it, it just paralyzes it. Uh, but it might still be useful. Pharmacy locked. Okay. So overall, besides uh, the gypsy shop, uh, there was not much to see in this part of the town, which is a bit annoying because it now requires me to walk all the way back. Hmm, but I guess so be it. There's an old man I can talk to. Oh, there's also a barrel I can vandalize. And it held a potion antidote, which is potentially pretty useful. Take care outside the gates of the city, good sir knight. For all those that wander the highways alone after nightfall are seldom heard from again. Even the strongest of warriors have disappeared. The streets of Prague are no longer safe after dark, but beyond the city walls all hell walks the night. Hell that disgorges from yonder castle of Viserod. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So this man is implying... Where the mines, Crusader. If mere men could kill the Hellspawn, we Knights of St. John would have slain them long ago. We lock these gates as the last rays of the sun die in the mountains. Pass within before dark, or wait without until dawn. I pray for thy safe return. Mm, this man kind of implies that the source of the evil is in the castle, so I guess he's implying that some of the nobility or something might be in cahoots with the vampires, or might be vampires themselves, actually. Uh, so that's interesting. Let's equip my sword, because it's, it's high time for that. I am going into a fight, after all. Mm, unfortunately, it seems from the look of it that there is no actual uh, quick save in this game, so... I will have to try and remember. These carts still hold their ore. The diggers have fled this place in haste. 
and the fiends have not seen fit to continue such honest labor. I will have to try and remember to save manually from time to time. Okay, there's a torch. It's also potentially useful. Can I double wield it? Uh, I can, which is great. Anything in the carts? Mm, not really. Well, let's go into the mines then. And battle the spawn of the devil. Freshly mined earth is laden with the foul stench of death. Okay. What mystery lies moldering here? This poor soul died without a wound, save a bit of blood in the throat. Well, he was clearly drained. Okay, so I remembered one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, the Schlachta, right? Uh, Schlachta is actually a Polish word for noble, but within the lore of the World of Darkness, uh, within the lore of the World of Darkness, uh, it is actually a word that the Jemisi use for their ghouls, because they, con they consider their ghouls to be better, than every other vampire ghouls uh, because they were made by them uh, using vicissitude you know the, the power to shape flesh so they considered them uh, you know nobles among the ghouls as it were mm, and that's why that's why they call them schlachta which as i said means literally noble in polish uh, but I guess it might be a jab against the mortal nobility as well, uh, you know, to imply that for all the splendor of, 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 a, of a schlachtiz, of a noble, uh, compared to a vampire, uh, he's a mere servant. Does it look like they leave any loot behind them? Uh, from the looks of it... Mm. Actually, the Jemisi uh, use a couple of Polish terms uh, in their... Mm, in their naming conventions because, for example, there is a position uh, within the Jemisi clan called Wojewoda uh, and a Voyevoda was a... Mm, well, it, it wasn't a government position per se, because obviously governments themselves are, mm, uh, are, are, are a decidedly modern invention. You wouldn't call uh, a medieval court a government, but what I mean is Voyevoda was like a commander, uh, commander of the armies, in a couple of uh, of Slavic countries, there, there was a, a an equivalent word, uh, and literally voyevoda means the one uh, one who leads the warriors. That's the that's the etymology of wild dogs, nay, rats. Mm, that is the etymology of this word. Mm, and I believe among the Jemisi, uh, a Voyevoda is, uh, is a position of power. It's like they're... Mm, it's, it's basically someone of prominence within the Jemisi clan. Someone who holds considerable power.
Okay. Anything interesting here? Uh, not from the looks of it. Hmm. I, I'm not sure which way is the good, good, correct way. Obviously, I would like to explore everything. Okay, this is just a dead end. So I guess I kind of answered my own question. Mm, and there is a Dirk. Uh, that I can presumably sell later on. Mm, but basically, uh, Voyevoda uh, was a military position. Basically. I'm not quite sure if it is decidedly so for the Jemisi as well. I seem to remember that it's more of a general term for like a leader. Mm, but but maybe it is specifically in times of war, which would make the most sense, uh, you know, compared to uh, c compared against the actual meaning of the word in regular regular world history. Uh, Okay, but where do I go? I came from here, didn't I? Hmm. I guess I, I must have not, because there are still enemies around here. check the other tunnel because I would be kind of salty if I missed something important uh, by not investigating properly. Or maybe this is where I came from. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is because I remember this body mm, specifically so I guess that answers my questions for now. of rats. I guess I can drink one of the potions. Oh, I have holy water as well. I should probably try to remember that. Uh, I can drink one of the potions because I have around half health. Mm. And apparently it heals over time, which is also good to know uh, that it isn't instantaneous. I assume the actual vampires would be in the deepest parts of the mountain, so I'm going to go up first. A treasure chest, you say? Leather gloves, okay, don't mind if I do. Oh, is it an actual weapon? Lethal plus 10. Oh, no, okay, just equip it. in my inventory. 
as part of my armor, I guess. I wonder if the model will actually change if I find heavier armor later on, you know? If I, for example, find plate armor, will it be reflected in how Kristoff looks? Uh, would be cool if it did, but... Mines too. Well, I should probably save. Would be kind of stupid if I died and had to repeat all of that. Oh, more holy water. Don't mind if I do. Although it's interesting that the vampires are keeping holy water in their lair. Like, you'd think they would avoid that. Claim this treasure from the clutches of evil and reconsecrate it to a godly purpose. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this one was unusually tough. I think I'm going to switch for the shield, obviously for the for the added protection. Um, although it is pretty dark, I have to admit that. Mm. Okay, there are some more items up there. So we should perhaps loot them before advancing. Mm, although it is pretty dark uh, without the torch. Mm, and it's going to be even darker on YouTube. You know what? I'm going to keep the torch for now. So, does it even give light? Like, actual light in the game? I'm not quite sure. Now, let me stand in, like, a dark place. And actually see if it casts actual light. Because I'm not convinced. Okay. It literally makes no difference. So, I feel a bit cheated, but... In that case, a shield is probably better. That means, but presumably it's something good. Actually, let me check my character screen. Maybe it will tell me something. Uh, so, what's APP? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, none of those. Oh, appearance. Okay. Because yeah, because this is my base, and this is like at after modifiers, and you can see I have plus five appearance. So presumably people will find me more attractive now, which I'm not sure how helpful is that going to be. I guess I would be interested to learn uh, whether Christoph has sworn, you know, whether he has sworn to be chased. Because it seemed kind of like Aneska and Christoph were hitting it on a little bit uh, in the intro, like they were gazing each other deep in uh, into the eyes while holding hands and all that. Uh, but obviously she, uh, if not him, then she certainly uh, has sworn vows of chastity because obviously she's a nun. Uh, so. I doubt this is going to work unless we're up for some actual heresy. Uh, silver mines one. Uh, where am I even going? To be honest, I don't have that great of an idea. Like this goes back, but what about this? Hmm. Okay, this goes further down, so. I will check the other path first. Mm, because, as I said, I presume that the vampires are actually on the bottom. Oh, wait, this goes down as well. So now I am utterly confused. Hmm. Is there a possibility it goes to the same place? No, wait! Wait, 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 how is that possible? I've been here. That's where th there was some loot on this. But how is that possible? So how is that possible if the... If the entrance, or rather the exit to the uh, Silver Mines 1 map uh, is over here as well? Does it go in like a loop or something? I am utterly confused. Yeah, Silver Mines 1. How is that even possible? I'm not quite sure, but... Then again, I am legendarily bad at finding my way. Both in-game and in real life. Unfortunately, for me. And I get lost with alarming frequency. Mm, appearance plus 10. Well, I'm going to be a major hunk then. Uh, I'm not sure how is that going to avail me against the spawn of Satan, but I guess we're going to see. Diseased. So this po Oh wait, 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 I have disease vaccine. So this should help, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, but I feel like this first episode has been long enough. So I'm going to save here. And end it for now. That's all for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.